Hey everyone, this is Ken from Vertibox, and you're watching another episode of the Marvel Heroes Leveling Guide. On this episode, we're going to take a look at Cyclops, the leader of the X-Men. Like with all these guides, we're going to let you know what skills are worth investing in, which skills are worth ignoring, and generally give you a sense of how that character plays. Now, I want to be honest with you guys, my leveling experience with Cyclops hasn't been all that positive. Like with some characters in Marvel Heroes, there's only one correct way to build him. During the first 9 levels, I think you'll find that Cyclops is fairly underpowered. And once you reach level 10, you'll pretty much use the same ability over and over and over again. This kind of repetition I think acts in some of the problems with Marvel Heroes. While there are certainly some characters that reuse a wide variety of skills, in the case of Cyclops, he's just quite frankly pretty boring to play and I just want to put that out there if you're thinking of playing Cyclops, you're in for a lot of repetition. Now before we go any further, I want to put this out there. I do expect Cyclops to undergo some balance changes. If they're just minor tweaks, I'll put some annotations in the video, and if he drastically changes, then we'll just release another guide. Now as far as I can tell, Cyclops' main role in the game is a ranged AoE character. It is possible to specialize him for single target damage, however, you will need artifacts and things like that to boost his damage. Cyclops also has access to melee abilities, but I kind of found them to be out of place. I did some research on this, and apparently Marvel wanted his martial arts training to be reflected in the skill trees. But let's be honest, I mean, how much variety can you really bring to a character who just shoots red laser beams out of his eyes? Now, it turns out that two of these melee abilities are actually pretty good. However, Cyclops doesn't have the durability to use them. He's no Miss Marvel who can just sit there and tank damage, he's actually very squishy. So perhaps the biggest drawback to Cyclops is that he's just not very good at taking out bosses. In fact, any target with a lot of hit points is going to cause problems for Cyclops. I did some comparisons and you'll see here with Miss Marvel, she's clearly able to take out the Sentinel much faster than Cyclops can. And with that, let's get into the skill trees. The first tree we're going to talk about is the Optics tree, and this is Cyclops' main tree. Most of your points are going to end up going here. The first basic attack that you have access to is Optic Blast, and it's actually not too bad of an ability. While the damage is pretty low compared to other characters' basic attacks, you do attack with it 2.5 times per second. I did some tests, and if there's only one enemy in the room, believe it or not, Optic Blast is going to do the most amount of damage compared to all of your other skills unless you do something with your gear. Now at level 10 you're going to get access to another basic attack called Ricochet Blast, and this is when Cyclops becomes a lot more fun to play. Ricochet Blast is going to be your best ability for taking down trash mobs. Now there's a lot of people on the forums that say this skill is overpowered, and in some ways it is, but in a lot of ways it isn't. Depending on the number of bounces, you're going to be doing quite a bit of damage to enemies, and unlike Captain America's shield where you have to wait for the shield to come back to you, you can cast this over and over and over again and the damage will keep stacking. But in practice, I find that Cyclops is actually slower at taking out trash than other heroes. In the case of Miss Marvel, even though she's doing single target damage all the time, she's still clearing it faster than Cyclops. Even so, this is Cyclops' absolute best ability. You're going to want to max this, as well as every basic power you have access to, such as Optic Blast, and one we haven't talked about, which is the Train Punch. The next ability is Cunning Blast, which allows Cyclops to do a lot of single target damage while leaping away from enemies. While the damage for this skill is pretty high, it's just not that practical to use. Its rate of attack is very slow, so it turns out something like Optic Blast will actually do more damage in the long run, and I kind of found the leaping away to be very annoying. The next ability is Explosive Blast. Now I realize that this skill is available at level 16, but I did find a piece of gear that allowed me to access it at rank 3. The defining characteristic of this skill is that when you shoot an enemy, your blast explodes and does splash damage to all the enemies around it. This is honestly a skill I can't recommend. If you think about it, Ricochet Blast is actually doing damage to the enemies around it too because of the bounces, and unlike Explosive Blast, the actual ricochets can go much farther distances. So I wouldn't put any points here either. Now the next skill on the optics tree is Wide Beam, and this is a skill I can kind of get excited about. Basically Cyclops will cast a massive red arc that will hit all the enemies in front of him. This makes it a really good skill when you find yourself swarmed and you have to kill a bunch of enemies immediately. One of the drawbacks with Ricochet Blast is that you actually have to wait for the bounces in order for it to do damage, but with Wide Beam it's going to do all the damage simultaneously. 
Taking Wide Beam early on is going to make your leveling process a lot more enjoyable, because otherwise it's just going to be too slow. However, once you unlock Ricochet Blast at level 10, you'll find yourself using Wide Beam less and less, only in those situations where you find yourself getting swarmed. So if you find a retcon device and you feel like using it, you could take Wide Beam all the way to level 10 and then switch over to Ricochet Blast afterwards. The next skill is Optic Barrage, and this is Cyclops' main damage dealer against bosses. Currently in the beta, this is a very underwhelming skill to take. I've done an enormous amount of testing, and if there's more than one target in the room, Ricochet Blast is still going to do more damage, and even if there's only one target in the room, Optic Blast is going to do more damage. Because Optic Barrage does a lot of small damage numbers but very quickly, if you're lucky enough to find an artifact that gives a lot of plus damage, then you're going to do a crazy, insane amount of damage with this skill. But since this is a leveling guide, I can't assume you're going to find those. So while leveling, I'd recommend not putting any points in this skill, but maybe hold 10 points back just in case. And now we're going to move on to the Fighting Tree. The first ability is your basic attack called Train Punch, and its damage is kind of mediocre. But even if the damage rivaled some other characters' basic attacks, Cyclops really isn't that durable of a character. He's actually one of the most squishiest characters I've played in the beta. And to make matters worse, the punch doesn't have an arc, so there's no chance of doing even a little bit of AoE damage with the skill. Still, Gazillion threw us a bone here. Any point placed in here will add bonus damage to both Optic Blast and Ricochet Blast, so I'd recommend maxing it. Tactical Kick is actually a really interesting skill. As you can see on the screen, the damage numbers are just absolutely insane. I found myself relying on this skill quite a bit while leveling, because it was absolutely fantastic in taking down enemies with a lot of hit points. But ultimately, I can't really recommend it. If you're just a little further away from the enemy than you're supposed to, the kick won't work at all, and it only hits one enemy unlike Miss Marvel's Roundhouse Kick, and it also knocks the enemy back, and I also found that to be kind of annoying too. Later on in the game, bosses become incredibly difficult, so with all the clunky controls surrounding this skill, and the fact that Cyclops isn't that durable, I can't really recommend taking this skill. The side roll ability allows Cyclops to move away from attacks quickly, and it also gives him a little bit of a dodge bonus. I personally found this skill very difficult to use, because it only moves to the right side. Things can get a little confusing, because depending on the direction that Cyclops is facing, he'll move in a direction you didn't quite expect. Hopefully in future patches, Gazillion makes it so the character rolls towards your mouse cursor as opposed to just rolling on the right hand side, I think that would fix the clunky control issue. Despite these control issues, I do recommend placing one point here, because if you're in a wide open area, it will let you strafe around a boss for example. Combat roll is a little bit like side roll, instead of moving towards the side, you'll move towards the back. In addition to that though, you'll do damage to any enemies in Cyclops' path. I did try this skill a little bit, but I did find it to be pretty lacking. I think if you find yourself being swarmed, you're probably better off casting Wide Beam and just killing everything. But even if you want to move back for whatever reason, I think Cunning Blast is actually a better choice anyway. Next up is the Tactics Tree, and this is probably where you're going to place your skill points if you don't find an artifact for Optic Barrage. The Team Leader skill gives you a lot of bonus experience, so if you want extra experience, then this is the skill for you. So if you take a skill like Optic Barrage or another skill, you won't have enough skill points to really max this out. I think it's far more important to do damage faster because you'll gain levels faster that way than to get bonus experience. Next up is a skill called Tactical Command, and this is the skill I would recommend maxing if you don't have an artifact for Optic Barrage. This skill acts as a debuff which reduces the enemy's defense. Now I don't have the formula so I don't really know how this factors in, but I did some tests. It seems that enemies did die about 15 or 20% faster with plain Ricochet Blast, so if you're looking for a little bit of extra damage, this is certainly a viable skill to use while leveling. Now, I do realize that this isn't the most fun way to play a character, where you just cast a debuff and then spam the same skill over and over and over again, but that's about the best build I could come up with, because I didn't find an artifact to improve my damage of Optic Barrage. Defensive Tactician adds an additional dodge bonus to Tactical Command, uh, but if you're following this guide and you're maxing out all your passives and tactical command, you won't have any additional points to place here. Timely Renew is a skill which can regenerate spirit of you and everyone who's in your party after an enemy's been defeated. It's kind of a pretty cool ability as far as team-based play, but I don't really see it factoring in when you're leveling up. Since Cyclops uses basic attacks like Ricochet Blast over and over and over again, uh, you don't really need spirit to fuel your attacks, so I'd recommend passing this ability up. 
So to wrap up, we've looked at all of Cyclops' abilities within the first 16 levels. Hopefully this guide has given you a pretty good idea on how to build Cyclops for very efficient leveling. Again, I want to reiterate that Gazillion can make a lot of changes to Cyclops before the game launches, and if that's the case, you're certainly going to see some annotations on this video either describing the changes or just redirecting you to another video. Next up on the Marvel Heroes leveling guide, we're going to look at Captain America and probably take a look at Scarlet Witch and Cable after that. So what do you guys think of Cyclops? You guys think he's a good character? You looking forward to playing him? You think he's a little bit repetitive? Be sure to let us know in the comments below. And if you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.